Oh yeah. <laughs> that thing is bad. What's up YouTube community? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I got a couple of quick things to show you guys. And then I got a random act of kindness from Dave uh from David. He goes by on YouTube. You guys look him up. Deals on Diecast. Um so I'll be getting to that in a little bit. He's got a great video. His first video out there, he showed you um how to do a wheel swap without taking the taking the casting apart. So a really cool video. Uh, really detailed and I'm looking forward to more videos from David too. Um so up first I got a mail find. I picked this one up. During the Super Bowl, when the Patriots almost lost, <laughs> I was getting angry. I had to go spend some money. <laughs> So uh, somebody was sleeping on this one. I picked this one up for like $21. Really awesome piece right here. This is from Series 3. And it's just an awesome piece. One that I've been wanting for a long time. Um, really hard to find for that good of a price too. That's just an amazing piece. So really happy to add that to my collection. Alright. That is the first one. And then uh, these came in the mail. Had a couple of Hall of Flames come in the mail. Show you guys up close what they look like. Here's the Hall of Flame. Really cool metallic blue. Um, like a mirrorized chrome boot. Blue. Chrome boot. <laughs> really cool casting. And these are limited to 4500 That's $25.98. This one is uh, $25.92. So really close together. Pretty cool. So one of these will be up for trade. So if anybody was not able to get one of these, let me know. Shoot me a message. Shoot me an email. Shoot me a text. Pretty cool. And then the other uh, find that I have uh, traded with a local friend of mine. So Alex, if you ever watch this video, uh, really cool guy. He's a buddy of mine that I uh, ran into and also collects. He needed something I had, and he had this one, so it, it's easy to open out of the package, uh, so I can put it back in the package too. There's the General Lee, and this is the Chase, and this is an all, all white casting, really cool. It's got the flag on top. Jason Fry showed one he picked up from uh, Declan Lewis. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to uh, pick mine up from a local collector who uh, found it at Hobby Lobby. So really cool piece. Silver screen, uh, Auto World Chase, generally cool, cool piece. There is two on the back uh, that look like they're in this series. But I know for a fact I've seen uh, the orange one, at least pictures online. And then um, a black one. And then a chrome one too. I've, I've even seen the chrome one. I think the black one is the happy birthday one. I'll put that back together soon enough. Alright. Let's get right into this box. I'm kind of nervous. He contacted me and he said, PJ, uh, you're an inspiration to the community. He had been collecting for a while, uh, over the years, and uh, kind of lost interest in it, and now he's back in it. So really glad to have David back in the community. Um, he's got, an, just hit by his first video, I was amazed. I was like, man, this guy knows his stuff. So David sent me some stuff. He did not... The only hint he gave me was he said, uh, all I can tell you is yeehaw. So <laughs> let's see what's in it. I'm kind of nervous. I never know what people are going to send me, but I've got the video run running, so let's see. Nervous and excited. But he's a cool guy. Seems to be like a really cool guy on the YouTube community. You guys make sure to go subscribe to him. It's deals on diecast. It's all one word. I don't want nothing to jump out at me. <laughs> Oof. Oof. All right. We're safe. Okay. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> Check it out. There's a little piece of popcorn right there. That is so cool. Mmm, <laughs> popcorn. Alright. Check it out. He hooked me up with a Sharpie. 
Uh, this is a Sharpie. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I don't have to wander around looking for my uh, my exacto knife anymore. This is an actual box cutter. I don't have one, so this will go to good use. <laughs> That's so awesome. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at this. Open last. All right, we'll set that one over here. Man, what? <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, so this one, I have no clue. Oh, this is a Scooby-Doo. Oh, where's my box cutter? I'll use the X-Acto knife for now. Really good uh, packing. Try not to cut it. Check it out. There's a Scooby-Doo, quick delivery. This is from the first series. Um, this is awesome. I'm glad to have this. Uh, I do have one of these already, but this is awesome to have a second one of. All right, what do we got here? Sweet. Man, he sent me a bunch of good stuff. Thank you so much, David. Sweet. Hot tamales, long gone. That is sick. Thank you so much. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, what's in here? Oh, sweet. Yes, sir. This is a thunder roller. I did pick up a couple of these, so I'll probably be opening this one. That is cool. Thank you so much. I love that truck. Thunder Roller is one of my favorite castings. All right, we got some Lucy's here. Oh, look. He's even got directions on it. Pull here. <laughs> David, you're killing me. He's got little notes all over the place. That's the way to make a package. That's cool. All right. Look, and it worked. Pull there. Well, kind of. And pull here. Oh, nice. Callahan, this is a Matchbox Express delivery. I don't have that one, so that one's cool. That will go right into my collection. That's a cool piece right there. Callahan, Matchbox Express, Express delivery. This came out in, uh, I think, let's see, copyright 2012. Really cool piece. Thank you so much, David. Man, there is a ton of goodies here. This is so awesome. Let's see what this one is. This is a final run, it looks like. Very cool. That is a final run uh, ramp truck. This one does have real riders on it. And that's a really, really cool piece to have. That's sick. That's cool. Oh, yeah. My daughter always makes fun of me when I pause and I show something in the video and... I don't know what to say other than just, hey, look at this piece right here. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what this is. Oh, wow. Oh. Pull. <laughs> oh, your notes are killing me, man. That's so funny. Oh, sweet. I don't have either one of these. Hall and Heat. There's a Hall and Heat for you. That's really cool. Thank you so much, David. That's cool. Looks like it needs to be customized. <laughs> I did remember picking up the uh, the one in the picture. Oh, right there. The bone checker. I did have a couple of those. Uh, again, these are from 2012. Really cool pieces to have. And the speed hauler. That's a cool truck. Looks like it needs to be customized. <laughs> That's a lot of axles too. That one has one, two, three, four, five axles on it. All right, so a couple of Lucy's here. And then a box here. What is this? I'm so curious about this last piece over here. <laughs> what am I at, nine minutes? I'll try to hurry up for you guys. There's no note, oh, there is a note. Look at that. Pull here. <laughs> All I have to do is listen to your directions. I'll be good to go. Love the notes. That's so cool. Whoa, that's sick. 
So those 164, they look a little smaller. This is 100% uh, rod and custom. Check out that piece. Love those little display boxes like that. It's like a little mini diorama. Diorama. Diorama, diorama. You know what I mean. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. Uh, thanks for tuning into my channel. And uh, going through these with me. And I don't have this ramp truck. That ramp truck will go right into my collection. That's a Dream Cars ramp truck racing team. That's a really cool piece. This one looks pretty old. I was going to try to collect ramp trucks, but there's just so many of them. I can't even stay on top of the highway haulers. <laughs> oh, sweet. Look, another pool. See? You guys ever trade with David? He's got great directions. A shell. That is sick. Shell Peterbilt. This has still got the little... Uh, Oh, I can't pull them out. Oh, there goes one. Oh, they could supposed to come out all the way, but it's uh, Peterbilt. Real heavy casting. I did hook up uh, Tex Tanner with, I think, one, if not both of these. Uh, so it's really cool to get them back. I hated to let them go. It's such a heavy casting. It's really, really cool. Well, there's the yellow one and the orange one. Really cool pieces, man. Those are awesome. Those will go right into my black wall collection. Really heavy pieces. Cool. All right. Mm, popcorn. Let's get into this last one right here. Open last. I have no idea. Let's see what it is. Pull here. More directions. So awesome. <laughs> All right. Just in a little confined what holy crap guys you guys it says read me here's a note on the back I'll show you this in just a little bit What starter, what starter as a basic mainline 69 charger became the car you see today? Each wheel, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I will take the time and read this uh, on my own time instead of boring you guys. Uh, wow. This, this may be worth reading though. It says, each wheel are vintage from the 1980 real riders with the turbo design popular to the era to match the actual wheels used on the General Lee. That piece is sick. This car was disassembled, stripped of paint, filled and sanded to remove any mold process errors, then resprayed in light gray primer. The orange paint was hand mixed from two colors and airbrushed with several light coats. The real deck was drilled and the antenna base was laid from plastic sprue using a Dremel. You guys see that antenna on the back there? Fishing line was used to create the long CB antenna. Antenna was fitted and the back was heated and pressed to prevent slipping. The car was reassembled using 256 carbide coated machine button head, head hex screws. You guys can see on the bottom. I don't even want to take this out of the Protecto. This guy is very detailed on his customs. And does amazing work. Uh, the card stock is from the standard mainline card that was covered in the white decal sheet. Look at that. Dukes of Hazard, General. This is freaking epic. Hot welds, generally. That's cool. So, you guys have watched my channel. Dang, he even put a freaking license plate on there, dude. Look at that. And the antenna. Oh, and the Texans logo. Check it out. Even though I love the Patriots, look at the little Texans logo he put on there for me. Man. Whole, I got to read the rest of this. Uh, the cover and car back were created in Jask, Jask, J-A-S-C, Paint Shop Pro, and printed to white adhesive paper 
and applied to cardstock and hand cut. Clear matte finish was applied to give protection to the card as well and add a semi satin shine. I hope you enjoy my take on the art of customizing these die cast cars as I enjoy making them. You guys need to go subscribe to David Deals on Diecast and check out his custom card art and his cust that's sick. So you guys know that I have sent out quite a few uh general Lees uh in my customizing days. I have yet to keep one of my custom general Lees. This is amazing. This will never ever leave my um, collection that's gonna be a tough one to uh, match though there's so much detail in it look at the antenna I'm freaking out the decals look spot on the tires are spot on black screws just amazing uh, painted grill it's even got a Oh man, that is just spot on. Look at the license plate. I've always wanted to try the license plate, but I can never get my printer to print that small. That is freaking, um, look at the back. General Lee. The General Lee is a Dodge Charger driven by Duke Cousins, Bo and Luke in the television series Dukes of Hazard, And it's got a little bio of it. And he even signed his name right there. David C. Deals on Diecast. Holy crap. Oh, I'm amazed. This is this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, David. This I don't know how I'm gonna repay you for this. That is sick, dude. You guys, that is one bad to the bone custom right there. That is so sick. PJ Foreman Edition 1 of 1. Right up top it says PJ Foreman Edition 1 of 1. To take the time to do the card art and the General Lee, that is a cool... And he's he's changed the Hot Wheels logo to Hot Welds logo. That's cool. It's his little signature logo now. This is... Warning, uh, not suitable for children under 36 months old. Small parts may be generated. <laughs> the Dukes of Hazard TM and all character elements during Warner Brothers in 1970. This is so sick, dude. That's amazing. Thank you so much, David. Right, where'd the Protecto go? This is going right back in the Protecto. And going right up there on top with all my customs that people have sent me. So you guys, if you haven't subscribed to him, go subscribe to him. He's an awesome guy. And he does, he even does dioramas. He does really good work on these dioramas. He's uh, showed me a couple of pictures that I've seen. Um, his detail is just amazing. So don't be blowing up his YouTube channel. Do me a custom. Do me a custom. He does really good work. That is amazing surprise. And that is, that is, that's going to get me going now. That is sick. Thank you so much, David. You guys, I know it's 19 minutes going on 20. I probably could keep going for another 10 minutes. This is an amazing custom. You do great work. So keep up the great work. Thanks for the nice package, the RAOK package. And, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Peace. Bring a tear to my eye. <laughs> it's awesome.